So once you have your film loaded into the developing tank, you're going to bring your tank over here to the sink in the classroom. Again, since your film is loaded into this tank that is designed to be protected from light, it's safe to do your developing out here. We have all of the chemicals on the shelf above the sink. So we have developer, uh, stop bath, and fixer, just like we have in the dark room. Uh, the developer itself is a different mixture. Since it's developing film and not paper, it is a different chemical, actually. Uh, but that is, again, what will develop the image on the film. The stop bath, which is just water, but that is uh, what will wash the developer off of the film so that it basically stops the developing action. And then the fixer is what changes the chemical makeup of the film so that it's no longer sensitive to light. Uh, and then we will run, we will wash our photo film um, with water, just like you do in the dark room. And then we're gonna run it through this little container of photo flow. Uh, the photo flow is designed to help prevent spots and streaks from drying on the film. Um, it's not completely flawless but it will help prevent those things on your film. So we will talk about each one of those as we go through this process. Um, you'll notice that behind the faucets, there is also an extra container of developer and fixer. And that is because uh, we tend to not, first of all, we don't reuse the developer after it has uh, been developing a roll of film. It is not strong enough to be reused. So developer will actually get poured down the drain each and every time it's used. Um, the fixer, we do reuse the fixer, but uh, we like to have a spare one just in case uh, we run out of the other one because sometimes people pour them out even though they're not supposed to. Um, so as you're using these, first of all, you're going to use the three here on the left. The ones behind the faucets, those are our spares, and you're only to use those when the ones over here on the left are empty. So when you empty one, please uh, let the teacher know so that we can refill that and also leave it in the sink, okay? Because if we can't get to it right at that time, we wanna know that it needs to be refilled. So please leave it in the, the empty bottles in the sink. And when that one is empty, like I said, you can use the spare. And that way we don't have both developers going at the same time, which will then end up leaving somebody with, you know, just a little bit of developer in their tank and two empty bottles of developer that we have to quickly uh, replenish. So. Uh, again, let us know as you empty one, and once you empty one, go to the spares, and then you'll be all ready to go, and we can be refilling the other one. So, uh, when you're developing, first of all, at the sink here, right above the cabinet doors, and this is on two cabinet doors above the sink, one on each end, there is a chart here which kind of walks you through the process, okay? So we will go through this process step by step, um, starting with filling the tank with water, okay? Just to get the uh, film wet. It helps the developer to start to work faster if, if the film is already wet. So we'll fill the tank with water and drain it out. The developer, as you can see, will go for 10 minutes and we will be uh, kind of shaking the tank during that part of that time. Uh, I will let you know what the times are, but you can all see it all up here as well. The stop bath will be in for 30 seconds, just like in the dark room. And the fixer is for five minutes. So as you can tell, the times for developing your film, it's a lot longer than when you're in the dark room. Um, so this process does take a while. So you do want to make sure before you actually start pouring chemicals into your tank that you have enough time to get all the way through that. So we have a little bit more than, let's say 40, um, not 40, yes, uh, 15, 20 minutes of just developing, and that's not even including getting your film dried, okay? So please make sure that you have enough time before you start this process. Uh, we will go through each one of these. Again, you have that up there to refer to, uh, and there's also a reminder sign to pour back the stop bath and fixer. So those are uh, poured out, poured back into the bottles every time the developer is the only one that gets dumped down the drain each time. So when you are getting, doing your film, and again, I just have a practice roll in here. 
So I'm going to just kind of quickly walk through these steps, but I'll let you know of the times. When you're at the sink doing your developing, you are going to want to have uh, a pair of goggles. Uh, as you are pouring the chemicals into the de developing container, pair of goggles over your eyes to help prevent anything from splashing up into your eyes because you're going to be pouring it into the developing tank and it will splash. So put some goggles on your eyes and protect your eyes. Okay. Remember if, if you're not wearing goggles, uh, you do need to rinse your eyes with the eye wash for 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, which nobody, I think, ever wants to do. Uh, you will also definitely want to have gloves on your hand. Um, as you, I'm sure you have noticed, the chemicals do not smell very good. And when you're doing the developing, this red lid, which comes off so that you can put the chemicals in there, and again, it's still safe from light at this point, but um, this does not seal up completely tight. So you will have some chemicals leak out from underneath there. And if they're all over your hands, you are going to have, you know, that smell lingering with you all through the day. So uh, have some gloves on your hands again. Those are in the boxes on top of the file cabinet right next to the dark room. So once you have that all set, we are going to, like I mentioned, first fill the tank with water. Now when you're doing this, um, don't just put your tank under there and turn the water on full blast. If you notice, this, is, this has kind of a rounded cup in it. And if you just set that down under the faucet and it's not positioned just right, the water will um, kind of go into this rounded part here, shoot onto that rounded part, and squirt out the other side and get somebody else uh, at the sink all wet, which I'm sure they will not appreciate. So turn the water on first. Make sure you turn it down a little bit and then you're filling the entire tank up with water until you see that just overflowing. If you forget this step, it does not ruin your film. It, again, it just helps the developers start to work faster, okay? So you're just filling it up and dumping it back out, getting the film wet, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is get the developer and you're gonna pour this in to your developing tank. I'm not actually, like I said, gonna go, gonna go through this whole process um, for the sake of time here to make this video short. Um, but you will pour this in, have your tank down in the sink, okay? Not up on the side of the sink. And you're gonna pour it in to this hole until it comes to the very top. Okay, uh, once you see the, the chemical at the very top, you can stop pouring and you can put the lid on. Okay, so you're doing the pouring down here in the sink and then put the bottle back up there unless it's empty. Once you have that in there, at this point, the developer is going to be 10 minutes. Okay, so it's kind of a long time and you probably don't want to stand up here this long. So use your phone and go back to the go back to your table go back to your desk and you can do the developing there again keep the gloves on your hands and i would also take a towel with you um, don't just take that and have the chemicals getting all over your tabletop so please take at least one towel with you there are towels typically up on the sink but if they are not they are in the cabinet directly under the sink clean towels okay so you can take that back to your table now, with the developer being in there for 10 minutes, um, it's not just gonna sit there. You have to shake the tank in order to get fresh chemicals to the film, just like when you're in the dark room and you're rocking the tray, right? You rock the tray to get the chemicals flushing back and forth over the picture to help it develop properly. So you don't need to shake this for the full 10 minutes, but about once every 30 seconds, during that 10 minute time, every 30 seconds, you're gonna shake the tank for five seconds, okay? And then just gently tap it down a few times, okay? So what that's doing, first of all, when you're shaking it, like I said, you're getting fresh chemicals to the film, but you're also kind of creating air bubbles in there. And if the air bubbles stick to your film, which some of them will, you will end up with little spots on your film that don't get developed. So tapping that down a few times helps release those bubbles. And you just have to gently tap, okay? Please do not bang it down. We have actually had lids break because of people um, 
banging it down so hard. So make sure you're just tapping and tap that. I'm doing this down in the sink, but if you're at your table, have that on your towel when you go to do your tap, tap, tap. Okay. All right. So that is 10 minutes. Every 30 seconds, shake, 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 tap, tap, tap. All right. Um, once you're finished, so maybe about like five seconds, five or 10 seconds before time is up, you're going to go ahead and take the red, red lid off and you're going to dump the developer down the drain. Okay. Again, that is not strong enough to reuse. So don't pour it back in the bottle. All right. That gets dumped down the drain. Then you're going to go for the stop bath. Okay. Again, the stop bath is what's going to, uh, wash the developer off of the film. So you're going to pour that in to the top of the hole, put the lid on there, and it only stays in there for 30 seconds. You are going to shake it the whole time uh, while it has that 30 second time, okay? Because that's what is going to rinse it off. If it just sits there, it's not going to rinse very well. So just stay up here at the sink when you do that, okay? And put the uh, funnel, there should be a funnel somewhere up here at the sink. Put the funnel in the bottle. Move that a little bit so that you can see that. And then you're going to use that to quickly and easily, again, pour um, your stop bath back into the bottle. Okay? And you'll do the same thing with the fixer when you do that. Okay, so I'm going to finish with stop bath, put that back up, take the fixer, again, take the lid off, I would have already had the lid off, and pour the fixer in to the top of the hole as well. Okay, so we'll assume I poured that in there, put my red lid back on. At this point, you can go back to your table as well. Now, again, with the goggles, when you're at the sink pouring, that's the time when you want to have the goggles on. When you go back to your table and you're just doing the shaking, you don't have to have goggles on at that point. You can take them off, okay? But take them back to your desk with you so you have them for when you come back up. So for the fixer, again, you're going to have that at your desk with a towel. The fixer stays in there for five minutes, okay? And with the fixer, you're just going to shake it once every minute for about 10 seconds, okay? So you're shaking it not as often, but a little bit longer, okay? So again, about 10 seconds to mix that up, get that fixer, fresh fixer to the film, and then again, tap, tap, tap of your tank on your tabletop, okay, with the towel, right? So you're going to do that for five minutes. Again, about five or 10 seconds before time is up, you are going to take the red lid off. Again, you're bringing this back. So I'm going to use a fu uh, smaller funnel this time, so maybe it can, you can see a little bit more. And pour that back in, okay, using the funnel. That just makes it a lot easier to, uh, to pour in. Okay, then once you are finished with that, you are going to take the lid off and wash the film. So this time I am taking the entire lid off. Okay. It's already been fixed. It's already safe from being exposed from light to light. Okay. So it's totally safe to take the lid off and it makes the washing process go uh, a lot better, a lot more thorough of a washing with that lid off. So take the lid completely off and I'm just going to place this down here right under the faucet so that let me angle my camera just right here uh, so that it will continuously run in there and wash. Okay, so turn the water on and we're going to let that water run in there for a full five minutes. Okay, to wash off all, the, all of the uh, chemicals. So that will continuously wash. Once it's finished, your five minutes is done. Turn the water off, dump the excess out. Again, we're just keeping the film right in the right in the reel, not even taking it out for the wash. Um, your film will hopefully look a lot better than this. Again, I didn't really develop it. So when you take it out, though, it will it's not going to look gray anymore, but it will look dark because the film is wrapped, you know, around and around in the reel. It will look dark. Um, so don't panic that you don't have pictures. OK, you won't really be able to see them when they're all wound up like that. So you can open the reel. 
And I did this kind of carefully so you can kind of see how the film is like evenly distributed in the reel. Okay, evenly spaced through those grooves in the reel so that the chemicals can get in there. Okay, but you're uh, opening that reel, again, turning that clockwise to unlock it and take the two halves apart. Okay, so I can take the film right out and I'm going to take this container of PhotoFlow and down here in the sink, we are going to run our film through that. Okay, so I'm going to take the film. Once you unroll it, that's when you hopefully you will see pictures on your film. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna take one end of it, just kind of dip it in there and run that right through. Okay. And then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to kind of use my fingers, my gloved fingers. You can use, uh, this isn't really a chemical. It's just kind of a solution. So you can even use your bare fingers for this, um, which I typically do, but I just still have my gloves on. doesn't matter either way. I'm gonna use my fingers as a squeegee and I'm gonna run my film through my fingers a couple of times to get the excess uh, photo flow off, okay? Um, once you've done that, on the shelf above the sink, down a little bit further, there is this little tray of negative clips. So I'm gonna get two clips to put onto my film and they are metal clips they're kind of spiky at one end, so you have to be careful. Notice as I squeeze it, okay, how it separates at the end. And there are little prongs in there that are a little spiky. They're kind of like teeth, uh, so be careful with that, that we will clip on to the end of the film. So I'm going to squeeze that and insert the film into the clip. And I'm going to get two clips. I'm going to put one on each end of the film. So that way, when I hang it in the film dryer, it's going to hang straight uh, and not curl up inside there. Okay? You'll notice at the end of the hook or at the end of the clip, there is a hook on there. Most of them, a couple, some of them have lost their hook. They've broken off. Um, but you want to get uh, the hook so that you can hang it into the film dryer. So let's go over to the film dryer. The gray cabinet over here is the film dryer. And when I open it up, it is not turned on right now, but if it is turned on, you can certainly um, still add film to it. Uh, but you'll notice inside we have uh, a number of rods at the top and each of the rods have a little thing hanging from them in the back of the cabinet that marks which bell is which. So this is to kind of help keep things organized. When we have seven bells a day, in here and all the bells are developing film the uh, film dryer here gets very crowded and it's easy for people to lose their film and ha have a really hard time finding it so please make sure you are hanging your film um, on the correct rod at the top and typically what we do and we don't always do this but we try to uh, collect the film for each bell each day and put them in boxes so that they are, you know, safe and organized by bell. Okay. So if you put it on the right, um, on the right rod there, we'll be able to know whose is whose or basically which bell is which and keep those better organized. Okay. So you're going to hang it inside there and then close it, close the door. And up at the top, there's two knobs. Uh, one for time and one for temp. Uh, the temperature does not work anymore. We just basically use the, uh, the time dial there, which will turn on the fan. You'll notice there's a fan in the top there, okay? So as I turn the uh, time dial, I'm just gonna turn this to one. And you can hear the fan kick on. So I'm gonna turn that back off because it's pretty noisy, okay? Um, but that will help dry the film. So you're gonna turn that, see where it says turn past, turn it past that point towards the one. However, the times there, you'll notice that's in hours, not minutes. So please don't crank that all the way around to four or five or six. Um, really, you just need to turn it to one and that will be long enough to dry everybody's film for that bell. Okay, so just turning that towards one and close the door. And again, if uh, you are adding your film to that dryer, you can open the door even with the fan on and add your film to that. Okay, while your film is drying, you're going to go back over to the sink 
to clean up your developing tank, okay? So first of all, we'll get this photo flow put away, okay? Lid on that and put that back up there. And then for your developing tank, the uh, reel and the bottom of the tank, this has already pretty much been rinsed out, right? Because we did a five minute water wash. So I would make sure I have all my parts here. Um, I would just rinse off the lid, okay? And then you're gonna dry this in and out and you set this up here. You're gonna dry your tank out and get that put away so that it's dry for the next class, okay? And I can certainly take my gloves off at this point. So when you're drying it, it doesn't have to be perfectly dry, okay? But I'm just going to quickly wipe off the inside and the outside. I'll put my reel back together. When you are loading film in the tank, um, there's uh, not much wor that's worse than getting your tank in there and then realizing there's a pool of water inside because uh, then it gets really messy inside the uh, inside the black bag. So just put that together and just real quick wipe it off. All right. Wipe off the little spool. Please make sure this does not get thrown away. Remember that to help keep the light out of the tank. So that goes in the bottom. That goes in inside there. And then again, the lid, we're going to rinse that off both halves of that. Okay, and dry that as well. Now when you put this away, um, don't put the lid on the tank. You'll notice that the tanks in there, or at least they should be, uh, will have the lids not on them. The lids go on the shelf above, okay? So you can put those two halves together once you wipe them off. Again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly dry, but we don't want a whole bunch of water dripping out of it either, okay? So in the cabinet above the sink, you will see that there is a place for the lids, a shelf for the lids, and this is on both sides. Okay, shelf for the lids and a shelf for the tanks. Now, just keep the um, lid or keep the reel inside the tank. Okay, and that way, with the lid off, whatever is left, um, in, when, as far as moisture goes, whatever is left inside there will be able to dry out. Okay. So the reels inside the tanks, same thing with the double reel tanks, okay? Single reel tanks on the left and double reel tanks with the spools, in, spools and reels inside them on the right, okay? Once you have that done, then you're going to be ready to get your film out of the dryer as long as it's been. Uh, the film needs to be in the dryer five to ten minutes, okay? What I would do with your film in the dryer, once it's been a few minutes, maybe once you've finished drying your tank, if you have enough time and you don't need to go to your next class, what I would do is rotate the film. So I would take the, I just dropped my film, I would take the part that was at the bottom Okay, that was hanging at the bottom and hang that at the top. Okay, so basically just flipping it, taking what was at the bottom, putting it at the top, and what was at the top is at the bottom because the fan is there at the top. So what's at the bottom is going to be, is going to take the longest to dry. Okay, so flip it about halfway through, maybe a few minutes into it. That will speed up that developing or the uh, drying process. And then once you're finished, you'll be able to trim your film and get it into a sleeve. So that will be our last video.